Hi Stampin' Friends! Tonight we're going to use the Taco Fiesta stamp set. Um, it has a lot of cute um, particulars about it. Um, it has a pinata, it has a cactus, it has um, guacamole, it has an avocado that's not quite used. It's kind of a funny thing. Um, then you can make all of them have little faces. So there's a lot of different possibilities with this. And you can see that the, um, I guess you'd call them punny or whatever, little sentiments are also cute with this. So the first thing I did was kind of plan a few colors. I wanted to kind of have um, an idea of what colors would be cute and what, um, it, it kind of needed to be limited for me. I kind of felt like I had an infinite supply of colors. So... I wanted to go ahead and use my, the new in colors, you know, this color, year's in colors, um, the Sweet Sorbet, the Tahitian Tide, and the um, Parakeet Party. And then I realized, though, that I don't think that the, the green is dark enough for our avocado. So then I kind of said, hmm, yeah, maybe. And, um... I added a few other things because, you know, when you make a taco, you kind of have to have some yellow for your flower shell or your corn shell. And then I um, kind of was imagining the limes, different parts of that. So that's where I got most of the colors for this. So the first thing I'm going to attempt is gray granite on the body of the pinata. I guess this is supposed to be a little horse. I'm going to start with a gray granite. Now, we don't have gray granite in the blends, so I'm just using a regular Stampin' Write marker. And what I'm going to do is not color the whole, um, the whole little guy. I'm just going to kind of color a few places on his body. Like, I'm going to, it doesn't have hooves, but I'm adding them. There you go. Just to kind of add, I should turn this upside down so you can see. Sorry about that. Um, just to kind of add a little bit more of the gray granite, since I'm going to put it probably on a gray granite card base. Okay. Then I'm going to use some of my colors that I have. I'm going to try to use my this end, but you know who knows what's going to happen when I go putting it together. So I'm going to just leave these open for a minute and add some color. I've, got, I've added the uh, Dark Daffodil Delight. And so that's kind of what I was thinking for this. This one right here looks like the sunshine to me, so I'm putting that in. Maybe a little dark. I may wish that I had gone with the Light Daffodil, which I do have um, out somewhere. And then I'm going to do just a, a bit of the Light Tahitian Tide. And then I'm going to put the red on the center and the edge. So there you can see I've got this little horsey. I could cut him out with a circle or a square, but because I'm, um, I've am i cut some other circles, I'm going to go ahead and cut him out with scissors. So this will be something that I will make go away on the... Um, edited video, but for now, it's going to take me a little, half a second to do this. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off because it seems like it's a little hard to cut. Oh, I think I may have actually stamped this on the um, thick cardstock, so that may be, that may be why I'm struggling. So I'm like, this is not easy to cut. Okay, here we are. Bun, bun, bun. Actually, I think I may just not leave an edge. I think it works better for me when I don't leave a big edge. No, this I will. I won't go up in all of those. That would be crazy. There we go. Right across the little horsey pinata's back. in our ears and our little muzzle there. Go ahead and take that on in closer. Okay. 
Okay, so you get the idea with that. And so then my plan on this one was to actually use the um, February, and now this is in my newsletter, I should have said that to begin with, the February color challenge that I have. So it is the gray granite, the um, parakeet party, and sweet sorbet. So maybe this is a little much with this um, particular, uh, it's kind of an aggressive pattern. I also wanted to kind of show you this. This is actually from the Flowers and More Host Designer Series paper. Um, the back side of this is one of those um, brightly colored florals, but this back part here, I think it looks really nice with our um, Mexican kind of, uh, yummies, Mexican food. I think it kind of looks um, like it goes along with this pretty well. So that's another possibility there. And this this might kind of break it up a little bit and definitely tie it in together. So that's kind of my opinion on that. So then with this one, you could add you know, just any one of these. But the thing about most of these, you, what I would probably do on this is just have like a happy birthday but one thing you can remember to do is um, just put some twine up under your card like this and suspend it so that it looks like your little taco is on this. Now for a simple card, that's enough. I mean, that's, you've done enough. But if you're wanting to do something really cute, you could get one of those springs that they sell, put it under your little, under your little guy and have him springing around there but you could also just put him on some kind of spinner or um, let him you know, go back and forth on just a small punch through there. Um, so there are a lot of possibilities for ways to complete your little pinata and um, make that kind of fun. So if I were gonna, if I had to use some of these um, sentiments, I would probably put a, you spice up my life and then I would probably go ahead and cut out. <clears throat> now, if you don't like to cut, don't think that, you know, this set's not for me, I don't like to cut. Um, I do think that this set would be very fine if you just punched all these out. And I'm gonna try to show you a couple of um, ways that you could use these without actually going to the trouble of um, cutting them out. I just don't mind it, so I was just kind of wanting to show. It. There's a, it's a very bright and peppy look when you cut things out. So that's kind of what I was going for. So then let's see here. Okay. So then adding this, you spice up my life. Now it kind of, there's kind of an implication here like, okay, you spice up my life. I hope it doesn't have any weird thing with like, you, I hit you like a pinata because that's not what I'm going for. But um, yeah, I just think that that, that makes kind of a cute card. Probably should have cut another piece of the uh, Tahitian Tide just to pop under there. And I've got this one laying here and I'm kind of noticing it. I probably should have done a few other colors. I, I have trouble limiting myself, but you can see that the Coastal Cabana would have been really cute with this as well. And it would have added, well, maybe not with that particular layer on it, but the Coastal Cabana would have given it a little bit more of a, uh, tropical kind of look. So there's there's just a lot of choices that um, you make. I find that color being one of the biggest choices that you make when you are trying to put your card together. So, oh, one thing I wanted to show you. This one, I was cutting it out, and I'm afraid, I, I can see there are several of you here, but I can't see very much about who is here because I forgot to disengage the stars. So give me a star if you're into stars. I'm not really sure why that is um, a thing that it has now, but when you have a little nick in the side, I, I just caught the edge and didn't get all of this, you can always just put your image over that and that will cover it up and you won't even know that it's there. So just something else to consider. Um, don't throw these away always because a lot of times there's another use for them. You can just pop this up on dimensionals and that will cover that right up. Okay, so now we've done the spice up my life thing. So let me go ahead and cut this so that we'll 
have it. I, I don't necessarily, I, I don't feel patient tonight. You know, I, I've i um, been trying to complete my cards lately, but I have I just feel very impatient. So I will just apologize in advance. Oh, uh, one thing else I wanted to say about this, this, when the stripe is going up and down this way, I think it's kind of fun when you're using the same paper. Now we could use the floral side or, or have used some of these other patterns, probably not the plaid, that kind of isn't exactly what we're going for with a Fiesta, fiesta kind of look, but you know, or the polka dots. Um, but you can always just um, put these opposite. So it just kind of adds a little more contrast as well than just having them both going the same direction. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm not gonna finish this, but I'm gonna just do a little bit more so that I can keep it together just a little bit better. I'm using my stamp and seal, and you know I have trouble. I forget to roll it over, or then when I do roll it over, I end up sticking glue places I don't intend to. I'm, it's, I think it's just a user error problem, though. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. Get it mounted. And then I'm going to pop this on here. I want it going this way. So I can grab one of my glue dots. And then... And I'm very fumbly lately because I have broken several of my fingernails, so that's super sad as well. Okay, there's that. I'm just going to pop this over onto the other side, onto the back. Like right there. And one thing to consider, what if you just left that, just left that loose on there? then it would be swinging like we talked about and you wouldn't even have to do anything else. It would just swing on the card. I kind of like that. So, or what would be cuter is to have him just swinging. I could have just cut out something to put on the back and gosh, sorry, there's goop all over my hands. Oh, it's my fingernail. Oh, it's got the glue. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, just something to consider is to just have it swinging on there. I'm definitely going to make a card like that. Um, it may not be tonight, but I think that could be really cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this down using, oh, I think a dimensional or two. Let's see, I'm going to put this here and here. And then I'm going to pop, let's see, let's find a bigger one. Put that right in the middle on that. And take those off. There we are. Oh, that is going to be super fun. I kind of like the idea. Okay, then I'm just going to stick this down. I may give it a little bit more play. It's going to get just a little bit longer there. I'm going to cover this. There we are with my stamp and seal. Okay. There, try to get it centered and I'm gonna top pop that little guy under there so then all I have to do is run a couple strips makes it really handy to get it out of your way as well I always try to cut these just a little bit longer because I do not like how it looks when you have um, the green being even longer than the white. So I'm trying to avoid that. Oops, I got a little smuts on it there. Oopsie. Okay, so there's my little pinata. And then I'm just going to add the You Spice Up My Life. I want to use dimensionals, I think. No, better save those for my little guy here. I'm gonna put that small one in there. And then stick these down. Now we do have several bright colored um, things we can add to this. So I'm imagining that could be, oh, I think I grabbed the, no, well, maybe not. Yeah, that's the right one. One of these is really sideways when I was doing it. I was like, wow, what have I done? Okay. So you spice up my life. And then let's kind of consider what we might want to do for some, oopsie. 
color on here. I'm kind of leaning toward, I don't think this is the open one, kind of leaning toward these um, in color dots just because we're using so many in colors and they have so many good sizes of these in color dots in there that I think surely we'll be able to find something that makes, that will look nice on here. Okay, I'm gonna have to give up on finding the open one. I did find the flowers, which I think the flowers are um, are cute, but I don't necessarily think they make a lot of sense with the Mexican food. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this one. And then, let's see, I kind of think, hmm, that's the supposed to be the Tahitian Tide there. I kind of lean toward that one. So maybe just, now we do have in this set some um, really cute candy. That, and I considered cutting the little guy in half. And then I decided, oh, I don't think I want to do that. I think that's a little weird. So I didn't. But um, this kind of looks like falling bits of um, candy as well. So I'm going to put some of the red ones on there. And then I think maybe one more, I don't know, maybe some green, maybe the light green. That'll kind of show up. Well, it doesn't show up that well. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I think that kind of looks like, you know, party kind of goings on with that one. So there we are. Whoops. And I got to remember that it's like that or I'll be losing it whenever I go to um, put it places. Okay. So that was that one. And then got out several other different patterns and different um, things to put together. I considered put using the stripe going this way and then putting this green polka dot. Okay, so what I wanted to do for this one was to just kind of show um, either the holy guacamole. I kind of feel like the more of these that you use could make it kind of funnier. Um, like spectacular, holy guacamole, it's your birthday, your nacho average friend, and then put your little um, circles on there as well. Like they could just be circles or you could put them on things. Like you could pop them on something, maybe not with that background, but anyway, I think you get the idea here. Um, and it could be really cute to just pop some of your stuff on there next to the um, one that makes sense. So now I'm going to take my dark. Oh, I think this one is running out. A little trouble with the yellow. I, I t must tend to overcolor yellow and it seems like I'm always running out of the yellows. This is the dark so saffron, but I have the same situation a lot of times with the uh, Daffodil Delight. So there's that. I'm gonna put, I, I know that this looks like just one big lettuce on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just um, color a couple of spots red as if it's like little tomatoes. And then I'm gonna color the rest with my green. Wait, is this the green I want? This is dark. I think I was gonna go with light Parakeet Party to look more lettuce-y. Then let's see, I need brown for the middle of the avocado seed. And then I'm going to use, let's see, I kind of thought the start, was this too dark? Let's check. No, it's not too bad. I'm just going to kind of go over it with the, this is the light granny apple green. It's a super fresh avocado. It doesn't have any browning on it. Wish I could find some nice ones like that. Okay, then just gonna add a dark green. I don't know if this is dark enough or not. Oh, that's an old one. Let me, I must have grabbed the wrong. Let's see here. Okay, 
here we are. My new one. It's my garden green. I'm just gonna put it on the edge. Now that is such a tiny spot there that I um, think it kind of needs um, the fine point of these uh, Stampin' Right markers instead of the blends, just for me. Maybe you're a better, um, you can, draw, you can uh, follow the lines better than I can. Okay, so now that I've got that, I really want to put the um, little face, and gosh, I hope I haven't lost him. Where is he? No, that is a taco. Okay, I was gonna put limes on, but somewhere here, I, I mounted it so I'd be ready to go, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, well maybe we'll just put whatever little face we find on him. There was one, the one with the mustache was really kind of what I was going for because I thought it made a lot of sense with the little tamale guy, so, okay. I get so many piles going, okay. And no, I did not put him back on here. So, just get a little smiling face. So what I was thinking with this was to just stamp it with my fingers because it's so tiny that I think I can manage. So let's see, hope it fits. <gasps> kind of off the side, but not bad. So there you can see I got a little eyeball on there. Then I want to cut out, oh, well, I'll cut out, but I want to color a sombrero. And then I think I'll use the blue and the red, which would be the sweet sorbet, and the Tahitian Tide. You can see that that's what's great about the blends. I don't have to do a super nice job of coloring. I just went one straight line over here and then filled down into each little toothed area. And it was a, a lot easier to get that done than it would be if I was actually, you know, working on the whole thing. So that just, that just saved me some time. Here we are. So I'm just gonna cut this off. This is one that would look really cute also with probably with the cocktail set. You could add a lime to one of the um, one of the glasses and that would be really um, a way to like add even more to, to your card. Um, you can have the food and drinks, not just food. A little edge there. Okay. So then you can see his little sombrero on his head. And then you can put faces on a lot of these. You could put a face on the taco. You could put a face on um, some of these others. Like the, the there's a guacamole bowl. There's so many different things. Um, and it's just kind of a lot of fun. So, and oh yeah, this guy, the little cactus kind of looks cute as well. Okay, so I'm going to try to cut out my little guacamole bowl here. And then to decide what I'm gonna put. Maybe put a lime on the side of the guacamole bowl. That could be really cute. Or on top of the little guacamole. And um, one thing I wish I had thought about, I should have stamped the lime all over some lime paper. That would have been, and I guess I could have done it to one of these. I thought I had a piece of layered lime, but I guess I didn't. I meant to have a, a cardstock that was lime. So that would have been a lot. Uh, cuter. I might just go ahead and cut one of those here in a second. So tedious. I do apologize. A couple people were telling me that they are busy this weekend trying to get their taxes done. Like, wow. That is industrious to be started on them already. They must not owe anything. They must get a, get a refund or something. Oh, and what I did, I just um, cut the bottom off that a little bit, so I'm just putting more black on it so it doesn't look quite such a mess. So you can see there what I did. I just put more black. I need to do a little on this one as well. Easy peasy. Okay, so let's color our guacamole.
I'm trying to decide what color I want my guacamole bowl to be. I kind of think maybe, maybe the light blue would be cute. And I am such a scribbler. I love the way that the blends just kind of keep me from looking like such a scribbler. And I can just easily add dark at the bottom and make it look like a small shadow without, without even trying very hard. Okay. So let me go ahead and cut some of these guys out real quick. Let's see, is this one? Let's see, I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this with my little small cutter down to four. And since I know that this is five and a half wide, I just want to take a little bit off of it, like say maybe about a quarter of an inch, which I think that is. And then maybe I can stamp some lines on here. See? <clears throat> There's that tiny chili right there. I'm going to go ahead and use this side that has the limes on it with my parakeet party. I want to get this on a flat surface. You have to watch me or I'll do things wrong. Um, you want it on a flat surface so that you don't have to worry about it not stamping um, even when you stamp your limes. And it's kind of funny because this Parakeet Party color is very light, but if you get it inked well, it's really kind of a lot when you go putting it on here. I guess I need to do some off the edge as well. Put something under there. At least off of each side. Okay, I feel like now I feel like I want a little more. Just kidding. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to close this up. Ugh. Maybe. Maybe I'll just set it aside. I usually have fingernails and a way to push into these without sticking my hand in it. But. Okay. Okay. So, there's that with my limes. And then going to get all these guys that I can find. Some of them I can put my um, little centers in. I don't know if I've, I may have covered up too much lime. I may have to kind of do something kind of like that. But put my holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And my spectacular. And then my, oh, I'm going to do it this way with my nachos. I don't know, maybe that's enough. I kind of feel like that's enough. Spectacular and my holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And then maybe this on the inside with the you're not, this is nacho average um, friend. I think that could make a perfect inside piece. But anyway, all right. I think I've probably taken enough of your evening, but I think you can get a lot of good ideas with this and see a lot of bright colors that really make this um, this particular stamp set. Um, or, well, and I could put this on there. See, I've got too many ideas. I keep wanting to add stuff to it. Um, that could add to it and make it really cute as well. Just a little more color, a little more, um, a little more umph. Um, and also, maybe this one would look better with the green on it just so that it can kind of it kind of pops more so you can play with it and um, come up with some things that are fun like maybe I should put it on this this little guy oh look I lost him under there 
too funny. There and his little hat. Anyway, um, I think you can, whoa, I think this moved. Sorry about that. Um, you can see how that turned out. And then you can see this little dangling, fun, fun, little pinata for you spice up my life. I think that's kind of a fun thing to use as well. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching and bye-bye.